much completely aware of the various rules and regulations of the Trinity College of Bible. <laughs> No roller skating anywhere, even in Lord's Field. <laughs> but anyway, I'd like to draw your attention to <coughs> section 22, which is quite nice in the centre spread here. <laughs> <laughs> After the lectures had finished, I used to rush off down some secluded alleyways on the way to third year graph theory lectures in the CMS. That's a student who already know the centre of mathematical science. This was a wonderful place in the CMS. a grassy roof which has insects falling into the main. It's kind of weird. Anyway, on one particular occasion, there was a rather unfortunate fact that it had been raining. <laughs> raining is not conducive to running over slippery roads towards the sea. <laughs> so, since I was sure, I would quite like to demonstrate where this particular incident took place. We have the Senate House. <laughs> 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 Here is called rather imaginatively Senate. 
penthouse passage. <laughs> now, on the other side here, you have this rather famous bridge, which is officially referred to as Garrett Hostel Bridge. Some of you may know it by its alternative name, Orgasm Bridge. <laughs> but I think that I'll go for something classier, namely the Latin name for Orgasm Bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Sunlight uh, glistened upon us, illuminated. <laughs> <laughs> we waited in anticipation for events to unfold, and sort of to ease the passage of time to allow you to appreciate how. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, did I say 
James, I'm into supervision. I always get those two. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have got to admit that, with the exception of a few minor trivialities, such as number of people present, location, and whether you have to prepare work beforehand, they are pretty similar. <laughs> After all, you prepare five minutes beforehand, frantically arrive, fashionably late, spend 15 minutes going over the boring stuff that you meant to go over so that you can get onto the exciting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Turn to the original topic of discussion, namely the Trinity Gap. <laughs> it's equipped with these extra arm holes here. Now, you may have been informed that they're for eating soup at Pormans, hence the eponymous name Soup Holes. <laughs> <laughs> It's entirely plausible that Trinity is, in fact, breathing for arms of youth. In an attempt to take over the entire world, rather than merely 2,000 acres of Felixstowe Docks, the O2 Stadium, loads of Tesco. <laughs> now, mutants seem to be pretty much the sole preserve of Marvel comics, at least in that sense. As do superheroes, which allows me to neatly segue on to the <laughs> next <laughs> 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 one. thinking of any real life examples of superheroes. And then it's true Henry VIII. <laughs> <laughs> he did some rather impressive things. He created his own religion. <laughs> He had no fewer than six wives, admittedly sequentially rather than in parallel, but he was still pretty impressive. <laughs> I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 